VS Code makes it easy to hide buttons in the editor toolbar. You can see that in my current editor toolbar, I have a number of buttons that are coming from the GitLens extension, so these four buttons here. Now that's fine, and you might find that these buttons are useful, but in my case, I don't really use them, so to save space and reduce clutter, I'd prefer hiding them. To hide these buttons, all I need to do is right-click on one of them. So I'm going to go and right-click on the button that I want to hide, and then I can just select Hide from the drop-down here, and now that button will be hidden. I can do the same for these other buttons. Now if I go and right click on one of these, you can also see that we have a full list of all the currently visible buttons as well. So I could go and hide these one by one, or I could go into this list down here and check off the ones that I want to be hidden and which ones I want to be shown. So I could say, let's go and hide the open changes with next revision one. And I can just right click on any of the buttons up here. I'll hide file annotations, do that once more and say hide show revision commit as well. And now I've gone and hidden all the buttons from GitLens, leaving only the split editor button up here. Now, if I ever want to bring one of these buttons back, all I have to do is right click over in the editor toolbar, including on the little dot, dot, dot here. So I'll just right click again, and then I can go and check off the item over here that I want to show again. So if I want to show revision commit again, I can just go and check that one. And now it's going to show in my editor toolbar. I'll just go and hide that one for now. Now, just because the buttons are hidden doesn't mean that I can't still use those actions. So if I want to go and trigger one of the actions that was previously accessible with those buttons, all I have to do is go to the dot, dot, dot up here in my editor toolbar, and all those actions are still available. So here I have a list of all the different actions that were available before. They're just showing in the dot, dot, dot menu instead of in the editor toolbar. There might even be some additional actions that were not previously showing in the editor toolbar at all. Hiding editor toolbar buttons can be a great way to clean up your user interface, and it can be especially helpful when you're dealing with lots of extensions. So that's a quick look at how you can hide editor toolbar buttons in VS Code.